what's up guys and welcome to another video ratchet devo here i bought the rust-oleum epoxy shield two and a half car garage floor coating kit um and i'm gonna be doing my two car garage let me back up for you now the kit calls for it's a two and a half car but i'm gonna be doing my two car garage i'm gonna lay on the two and a half which is good for like 450, 500 square feet. And my garage is 400 square feet. So, and this is what I'm worried about most. Bugs. Bugs crawling on the coat while it's trying to dry. But a lot of people say that you need to sand down your floors first. In most instances, I would say yes. For this instance, I'm not going to because this garage floor, as much as it looks bad, it's completely flat. This is a brand new garage. Um, and I, this is from two times pulling my car in and out. This is a brand new garage, never been lived in by anyone else. So the floor doesn't have any grease on it or anything like that. The stains that you see um, are from the builders when they built this house last year. So, couple things I'm gonna have to do though I am gonna have to make sure that things like this are there's just a little bit it's barely raised up the worst that I'm seeing is a little bit of paint slash gunk from when they did the ceiling um, that's like one of the worst ones the work but the worst one is right here and I've already been able to chip away at it, so it should just come up. But it's not part of the floor or, like, in the floor. It just needs to be chipped away. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to... And I laid everything out that I got for this. The kit, Home Depot, $117, $120 for the kit. And you're going to need tape to... to basically around the edges of the garage tape it off before you lay the epoxy you're going to need some paint brushes to paint the edges some extra paint cans you need some rollers now from watching other people do it i got rough surface three quarter rollers nine inch long and are shedless knit so that I'm not gonna lose any of this knit while I'm laying down the epoxy. Very important. Also, you're obviously gonna need a roller, an extension for that roller, which is this, this broomstick, which this broomstick is awesome because I can, this scrub brush and the squeegee can also be turned into this broomstick as well as that. So instead of having to buy three different long pieces, it's just three attachments, one stick, pretty awesome. And, of course, the actual kit itself. And that includes concrete etch, two packs of them, instructions, the chips that go onto the epoxy coat, and two bags of the epoxy coat, which you mix one at a time. So, we're going to start by wetting the floor. And I'm actually, first thing before I do the concrete etch, is I'm actually going to use this industrial purple degreaser, which is for like shop floors i'm going to spray this all over the floor and and soften up all these little construction errors here and there and then we will begin the concrete etching after so i'm going to sweep spray the floors with water spray this let it sit come back spray it off and then begin the concrete etch and make sure that the floor is completely, completely clean. And then tomorrow, it's nighttime right now. It's like 2 a.m. Tomorrow when I wake up, once the floor is completely dry, I will then begin laying the epoxy coat tomorrow. So without further ado, it'll be a time lapse from here on out unless I run into any issues and until I get to the actual epoxy coat. So enjoy the video and I'll talk to you when it's time to lay the epoxy.
All right, I know it's somewhat dark, but the floor is looking really good. I think it's as clean as I can possibly get it. I, I degreased, rinsed, squeegeed like three times, as you saw, and then I did the etching and squeegeed again. And then I just went through the whole garage with a paper towel in any areas that naturally kind of puddled up. I cleaned, so the floor is super clean. It's already really dry. So it's almost like 4 a.m. I think I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and then I'm actually gonna try to lay the epoxy tonight while the floor is clean. What I'm worried about is if I wait and uh, like eight hours, it's gonna be dry in like 20 minutes to an hour anyways, but I feel like dust and stuff is gonna start falling or bugs are gonna crawl all over it and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to wash and squeegee again anyways so my idea is that I might as well just go ahead and do it while the the floor is as clean as I think it's gonna be did really good it turned out awesome but to guarantee that this floor is not gonna chip break or really scratch much in the next I mean I want to guarantee this floor for like 10 years or more so to do that clear seal concrete protective sealer from Lowe's it's like 30 bucks a can for a gallon I got two gallons just to make sure I have enough for the 400 square feet that I have here in front of me. So I'm not gonna film this part of it because it's the same thing. I'm just rolling. I'm gonna use a roller, a little bit thinner of a roller. And I've cleaned this with water to make sure I got all the fuzzies out of it. But you wanna get the anti-shed kind of rollers. And then you're gonna put it in a, the pan here and roll it out on the floor. I'm going to edge the sides with a paintbrush first and then we'll be good to go. So it's about 80 degrees. So as soon as I pop that can and stir it up, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The final product. I can walk on it now. The clear coat's cured for 24 hours, but 
I did the two coats clear of that seal crete and man, it just transformed the floor incredibly. So nice. I mean, the fact that things are reflecting off of the floor, you know, and I didn't, it's not a full epoxy, you know, it's just the semi-epoxy from the Rust-Oleum kit. I am gonna paint the edges like black, I think, cause I have black toolboxes. But man, I mean, this has turned out so good. I mean, showroom quality finish on the floors, honestly. And I like that the clear coat protects these flakes now. I like they're sealed in. They won't be chipping up. I don't think this paint's gonna be chipping anytime soon. So nice.